Today we're here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we are going to take the Incline Railway to the top of Lookout Mountain. Are you ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. It. Lookout Mountain Incline Railway. It's kind of lopsided. I think that's because it goes up the side of the mountain on an angle, right? Right. Is, is that, that's pretty much what, what it does. Are you excited yeah. for this? It goes up and kind of on an angle. I'm excited. And there it is. Well, that's really cool. Are you excited, Dawn? Yeah, I am. You get to ride the Incline Railway. Now, have you ever ridden the Incline Railway? No. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to it because it's kind of weird looking. Yeah, we've never done this before. I've always wanted to. This will be our first time. And it looks like the train just arrived. So it looks like the ticket desk is over here. And we got our tickets to go up top. Look at that, that is cool. So everything is on an angle down here, but when you start going up the side of the mountain, you'll be level with everything. And they use this cable to pull you all the way up the side of the mountain there, all the way up to Lookout Mountain. Watched it. So we're, we're all inclined, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they got windows all the way around. Welcome aboard the Lookout Mountain Incline Railway, the world's steepest passenger railway and America's most amazing mile. Our incline car will travel nearly one mile straight up the face of Lookout Mountain at a speed of 600 feet per minute, reaching an altitude of 2,100 feet above sea level. The car in which you are riding was installed in March 2020. Each car is steel and was especially built for the incline at an 18 degree angle. Each car is 42 feet long and weighs 12 tons. Two one and a quarter wire inch cables carry the incline cars up and down the mountain. You should feel more comfortable about your ride, knowing that the cables have a combined strength of 142 tons. <laughs> the cables are fastened under one car, wound around huge drums of the machine grip at the top of the mountain, and connected underneath the other car, so that the cars act as two weights on a pulley. When one car comes up, the other car comes down. The entire cable system is changed every three years. Other safety features are an Otis Elevator Safety Governor, which automatically locks the cars down if they go above a speed of 10 miles per hour. A giant automatic brake in the incline railway's machine room will lock down the cars in the case of a power failure. And there are manual brakes, which can be used by the operators as well. In recognition of the incline railway's historically significant role in unique mechanical design, in 1974, it was designated National Historic Site by the United States Department of the Interior. Also, in 1991, it was designated as a National Historic Mechanical Engineering Landmark by the American Society of Mechanical Engineering. The incline began making history 125 years ago, on November 16, 1895, when the car first reached the crest of the mountain. The car was made of wood and had open windows, which gave the passengers an exhilarating as they traveled up and down the mountain. In the early days, the power was supplied by a huge motorcycle steam engines situated at the powerhouse at the crest of the mountain. On each trip, the incline cars would carry coal for use in the boilers, with specially designed containers attached to the other end of the cars. In 1911, the coal burning engines were converted to an electrical system. Today, the two 120 horsepower motors, huge drum gears, and other operating machinery that provide power for the car can be seen 
Looks like it's going to get even steeper here. You see that? And it's like straight up there. So like the last quarter of it, it's like straight up. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah, look at look at the Yeah. That's crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, now we're looking like straight down. <laughs> and my ears just popped. Going up the side of the mountain here. And look at the view from the top. So there's the incline <laughs> railway car. And and look at that. It's like straight down. <laughs> like the last quarter of it is like straight down. Ah, and there's Chattanooga over there. Beautiful views. So we're going to check out the machine room. This will show us the workings. Wow. Yeah, that's a beautiful view. It's worth it just to come up here for that. There's a lot of folks here today. I didn't think it was going to be that busy today, but... 100 years, one amazing mile. 1895 to 1995. So 127 years old. 100, 127 years old. Got a lot of photos of the history 
a lot of things to look over when you're here. There's a lot of glare, but... This was a modern marvel of its time. 1895, this would have been uh, the thing to come and see. Here's a newspaper from December the 1st of 1895. You can see a little advertisement there. The New Incline, a marvel of engineering and skill. And there they go, down the side of the mountain. back up and check out everything else that was really cool to see the inner workings how they run that train up and down the side of the mountain And that's a job with a view. They're re-roofing that house over there. That's a um, nice view, but I wouldn't want to be up here on a windy day, and it's kind of windy. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> could fall. You don't want to be in a hot day either. Yeah, you, you could fall off the roof, and that yeah. wouldn't be good at all. Let's head up to the observation deck. That car is about ready to head down the side. And there's downtown Chattanooga. You can see everything from up here. It's beautiful. I'm enjoying the view. It's beautiful up here. It is. It is. And it's a nice breezy day. The sun is under cloud cover. We're supposed to get a little rain later on. That's probably the reason why. So, But beautiful. Check out the gift store. Oh, wow. Look at the souvenirs. We got a, a jigsaw puzzle. Don, you, you, you like puzzles. Yeah, nice coffee cups. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool merch here. Oh, they even have a hat pen. Oh, here's all their magnets. 
I like this one here. It gives you three different angles. That one there is 3D looking. They even have some Rock City merch up here. Oh, that duck has got a, a birdhouse on its head. We got some hoodies. That's a nice tea. So they have some fudge, they have drinks. Uh, Two seventy-five dollars for the drinks up here. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it is a cool puzzle. But a thousand pieces, yikes. A thousand pieces, huh? <laughs> we ran into some friends all the way from England, right? That's right. Hi. Wow. Hi. And in all places, but here at the Incline Railway. It was great to meet you. And you too. Thanks for meeting you. <laughs> we got a little snack stand here, hot dogs or four dollars or you can get a combo for eight twenty nine uh, chili cheese dogs for uh, five marshmallows dipped in white chocolate they also have them sprinkled and then they got oreos yeah, oreos oh yeah so i got a nice little hat pin for the hat yeah we decided to get a little snack while we're up here some pretzels and and cheese You ready to head down? Yeah, I'm ready to head down. Yeah, that's a yeah. steep <laughs> incline, isn't it? Uh, kind of scary coming down here. difficult to kind of feel like you're in one of those fun houses or something. Uh. Now, uh, back on level ground. Yeah, that was a great ride. I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting to go up on the incline railway and, and coming down is interesting. <laughs> it's, it's really smooth. 
Um, but when you get towards the top, that last like quarter of it goes like straight up. And then that's when all the chairs start to level off. And you can see the reason why everything is like on an angle. Uh, that or you would be like, you'd be like this, you know, <laughs> but uh, really good. Uh, so it was $15 a person, uh, $2 to park in the parking lot. So $32 and the views were beautiful up there. What'd oh, you, I know. I really you... enjoyed the views. I couldn't believe all the nice views they had. You could spend anywhere from an hour to two up there. Um, and they, the trams run every 15 minutes. Um, but it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. When you're at the top, you can walk on down about a quarter mile to the Lookout Mountain uh, Battlefield. It's a national park. Uh, we didn't do that today. We didn't have enough time to do that, but we'll definitely be back to do that. It'll give us something else to look forward to. But folks, that's going to do it for today here in Chattanooga, here on the incredible, I call it the incredible, Incline Railway. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We've got plenty of adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.